Hi there everyone, it's Lynn Bead Fairy One. Um, I've just come in with you a short video. Um, I made a, a present for my bestie, Angela7030, and um, sent a few pictures of it and she said to me, you have to do a video. So, I'm going to show you what I've made her this afternoon. So, um, she wanted me to make her some stick pins, so I've made her some stick pins and um, I just wanted to make her something to put them in. So um, I made her this. Um, and it's all it was, was a lit little, um, just a minute, it was one of these. Um, that I got in the range. Um, just it's just like a pepper pot. Um, it's not very big. I'd say three. Sorry, about three inches, maybe three and a half inches. And all I done was I stuffed it uh, with, you know, the wadding that you use to stuff things with. <laughs> And um, I made this, and I got the in, the idea. Um, I've shown you this one before. Um, Angela bought me bought, the, bought me this for Christmas, and um, it's it's got like a small pepper pot thing on. So I actually saw it on Pinterest, the idea, and um, there you go. You can actually just um, I've seen them make pin cushions just out of the um, tops so if you come across any tops with holes in them or something like that then you can um, just make pin cushion around the top so um, I just um, covered it in lace all the way around a couple of laces and this is um, this one underneath is like all out right up from the top to the bottom and then this is, uh, I can't say it, Gipure, I think. Um, that is um, one of the little um, embellishments off the wedding dress that I'm doing at the moment. Um, and we've got like a little trim round there. Then round here. And there's a trim. And that one's got like... I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it focus. It's got like diamantes in every other one on the pearl trim. So, and then um, coming up, you can see the stick pins. These are two two big ones with two big flowers on. Sorry. That's that one. And that's a big flower. It's like about an inch. Um, and then there's some here with. Sorry. I'm always doing that. Some charms. This one's got. Um, let's take it on there. That's a blue one. Like a blue crystal. And then it's got a charm. That one's got an, oh, an angel and a crystal. And then I made um, like a shabby chic flower just with some more, I don't think it's organza, I think it's sort of like a chiffon type thing. It frays really well. And um, just put one of my stick pins in there. And these buttons were gorgeous. I think they came from Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. What am I talking about? I wish. Hobby Craft. And um, in a little packet of... Um, I think they were vintage. Vintage buttons. And um, there's some really nice ones in there. Let's get some more because I've used quite a few of them. So that's my... 
present for my bestie. And just while I'm here, um, I saw a video, uh, I think it was a few weeks back now, when I didn't feel too good, I was um, going through YouTube, and I saw Cynthia Luhu. She was using like a, um, a tool to glue her stuff down. So she would put glue down and press it down with this tool, and it looked like silicone. It was sort of like a wedge shape, but and I thought, well, I can't see anything like that. So what I done was I bought one of these. It's a silicone spatula, and you might think, well, why does she want one of them? But um, I've been using it to sort of press down, and I haven't burnt my fingers so often, and it doesn't. It does stick sometimes. But most of the time it doesn't. And you can just press down and you don't get all those threads coming back up. And you don't burn your fingers. So I got this in the range for a pound. So uh, hot tip. There you go. Okay then, that's it for now girls. Bye for now.